Enforcement Directorate has now summoned Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal's PA for questioning in connection with its ongoing probe into the excise policy scam. In the latest on the excise policy scam, the ED has now summoned Arvind Kejriwal's personal assistant. He is going to be questioned with regards to the excise policy. In fact, the ED now intensifying its probe as a lot of allegations level against the Ahmadmi Party in Delhi for trying to swindle money in the name of, the, of excise policy, uh, formulating the new excise policy. This was done with an intention to extract money. These are the allegations on the Ahmadmi Party, which the ED, the CBI, the IT, you have all the central agencies intensely probing these allegations. ED has also now summoned Arvind Kejriwal's PA, his personal assistant, to try and investigate the role of him or it appears even the Chief Minister, if at all, Arvind Kejriwal, in formulating the excise policy with, which may have had corrupt intentions. This was uh, the allegation leveled against the AAP. Manish Sisodia is one of the prime accused in the excise policy scam. In fact, uh, at this point, Manish Sisodia has been summoned multiple times and so far there's no conclusive report on this case though. It's been months. Let me cut across to Manish. Manish, I was saying months uh, that the ED has been probing the excise policy in Delhi. Uh, and for months, Amadmi Party has been saying that if there was any, any wrongdoing, then by now the ED or the, uh, the IT or any other central agency could have found out and implicated those guilty. But so far, no proof that they are guilty. You have another summons going out to Arvind Kejriwal's uh, personal assistant now. What's the reason? Well, Nabila, not only the summon was given to Kejriwal's PA uh, personal assistant, that is Vibhav, but also what we have been given to understand is that he is being questioned as we speak in the Delhi excise policy alleged scam case. Now, what we do know at this point of time is that uh, Kejriwal's PA Vibhav was summoned by the enforcement directorate. This morning he appeared before the enforcement directorate and now the officials are questioning him in connection with this case. Now, as far as this entire case is concerned, it has been months, absolutely true. But the enforcement directorate maintains that they are closing in to the main culprit in this uh, entire scam. As far as Manish Sisodia's name is concerned, remember that appeared from the first charge sheet by the enforcement director that he had played a major role. He had destroyed more than half dozens of case while this excise policy was enforced in Delhi. But as far as Arvind Kejriwal's name is concerned, in the last charge sheet, we saw that and we reported also that Arvind Kejriwal's name was also mentioned in the charge sheet and in the reference that Vijay Nair, one of the main accused and conspirator in the case according to enforcement directorate, spoke to Arvind Kejriwal over a FaceTime and that FaceTime call was made only to ensure that Samir Mahendru, another accused in the case, can be taken into confidence. And according to the ED charge sheet, Arvind Kejriwal over the FaceTime call told Samir Mahendru that you can trust Vijayanair, he is my boy and do what he is doing, what he is asking you to do. So the enforcement directorate implicated Arvind Kejriwal in that charge sheet and now his PA being questioned in connection with this case. So there is a huge, huge, I can say, uh, uh, blow to Ar Arvind Kejriwal and the Admadri party. They are claiming that this is nothing but political vendetta. But as far as the agencies are concerned, they are claiming that not only they are closing in on uh, Manish Sodia, but also they are implicating Arvind Kejriwal at this point of time. Nabila. All right, uh, Manish, thank you very much. It appears that Arvind Kejriwal also then in that case in the picture uh, on the excise policy. We believe his PA has now been summoned. Investigation into the excise policy going intense with the ED, taking a good look at all the angles to see if there were any corrupt intentions before framing that excise policy, if there was any money extracted out in the name of the excise policy in Delhi. In fact, Munish, uh, at this point, uh, we... All right, we've lost his connection there. That's the latest coming in. We have Arvind Kejriwal's PA, who's now been summoned by the Enforcement Directorate in the Liquorgate probe.
As we know, the excise policy has been intensely probed. In fact, uh, Arvind Kejriwal also, it appears to be in the dock. He, along with his deputy, have been uh, intensely investigated by the Enforcement Directorate. And the latest coming in that ED is all set to question Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal's personal assistant as well at this point. He could be grilled and questions will be asked on various levels. There are a lot of approvals that may have been granted by the senior departments, uh, including that of the Chief Minister's office, the Deputy Chief Minister's office as well. They were all involved in framing the policy. How far was it malicious or corrupt? That remains to be established. Cutting across to Munish Pandey for a little more. Munish, a quick word from you again on Arvind Kejriwal's PA. How far is he integral in the framing of the policy itself? Why do you think he has now been summoned by the Enforcement Directorate? If you could elaborate for us, uh, is he an active member, a participant in framing the policy? Well, Navila, as far as the framing of uh, this entire uh, uh, policy was concerned, what ED Charshi maintains that Manish Sisodia, Vijay Nair, and some of the key accused in the case, that is the businessman in this legal scam, Samir Mahendu and others were involved in framing of this policy. As far as Arvind Kejriwal's PA is concerned, what ED maintains at this point of time, and this is a preliminary uh, information which we are getting from our sources, is that uh, Arvind Kejriwal's PA, who is being questioned as we speak in the Enforcement Directorate Office in National Capital, he was someone who was involved in certain setting up certain meetings of Arvind Kejriwal. Remember, uh, uh, a member of parliament from the southern part of India, that person had also come and met Arvind Kejriwal regarding the liquor policy, how he is going to benefit from the liquor policy. And Arvind Kejriwal in that meeting welcomed that particular member of parliament to do business in national capital. Apart from that, uh, uh, we have been told that uh, Arvind Kejriwal's PA was also involved in setting up certain calls to certain accused in the case. So at this point of time, what we do know that Bibhav, the question of the uh, personal assistant of Mr. Arvind Kejriwal, the Chief Minister of Delhi, he has been questioned by the enforcement directorate officials regarding the role he played in setting up the meeting, setting up certain calls, and ED wants to know that whether these meetings were official in nature or whether there was any backdoor meetings or not, and whether his phone was uh, used in certain calls, including the FaceTime call or not. So these are the uh, primary uh, information which we are getting from our sources within the enforcement directorate. His questioning is going to be certainly important because uh, the focus of ED is going to be if uh, the, if there was any role played by Mr. Arvind Kejriwal in forming and uh, executing this excise policy or not. And if ED finds any evidence, then they are going to confront uh, uh, the PA of Arvind Kejriwal in connection with this case.